You know what they say, if you don't have any haters, then you're not doing it right. Boy, that mini B Pro roller video I did really triggered some people. I didn't realize that so many people enjoyed paying for overpriced Horizon Hobby products, but these are crazy times. What's up everybody, it's Chad. Welcome back to the Dorky and 40 RC channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. We do all of the fun RC stuff here, no prep drag buggy racing and soon to be oval racing yeah oval racing i know so now that we've talked about horizons pro roller version let's talk about what i would consider the pro must upgrades if you go out and buy a mini b or even a mini t we've got my baby right here starting off with a brand new body not necessarily something that you need but this is the j concepts body looks pretty cool and hey guess what i made one for the b6.3 looks just like it turned out great Cre creatix airbrush paints worked out awesome so let's take a look at this mini b now but before then let's take a look at the people who have helped build this and who you guys should be supporting as well so first of all there's a gazillion losi mini b mini t groups on facebook and a lot of these guys take this stuff like really, really serious. So there's definitely great advice there. Go take a look at some of those groups and you'll be happy that you did. In no particular order. Well, actually, yeah, because I clicked onto this one first. AJC Mods. This is what is going to get you your servo, your servo horn, and upgraded servo mounts so you can reposition your servo a little bit further forward i'll show you that on a car get rid of that nasty servo saver clean up all the slop in your car this is a great kit to buy it's a little kind of tricky getting this horn on there because it's a three they can only 3d print the 22 spline so well if you want to go with the low c horn there is an eco power servo that i would recommend I've heard bad things about the Spectrum, but only because all of the reviews come from a TRX-4. If I was local, if I could find one locally, I would buy it just to have it and try it out. But I already have two Savic servos. You can't beat this kit right here. It's going to work. T-Bone Racing. This is where I got the front bumper for mine. Now, if you're going to be racing this and bashing this thing around outside, you're definitely going to want one of these bumpers on there. It's going to take a lot of the impact and keep your ball cups from popping off and stuff. So that way you don't really need to worry about doing any kind of ball cup mods with O-rings and all that kind of stuff to make things that much more tricky. Eagles View Aerial. This guy is just out of control he has some amazing parts i actually bought some of them but i have not installed a lot of them yet because some of them were uh pretty advanced installations like his front uh sway bar kit getting the front end and taking all that apart on the mini b is a total pain in the neck it can be done it just is a total pain in the neck and we'll talk about that more later on in the video but this guy has everything you need. Now, if you haven't heard of HackFab, you probably will. They have the number one conversion kit to convert your Mini T or B into an oval race car. Yes, just turning left all the way. And since I pretty much can only drive straight with drag racing, my off-road career so far has been pretty tough. Turning left and right and going straight has proven to be very difficult. So let's do some oval racing, hang out with my buddies and uh, see if I can just turn left. But they got all kinds of awesome parts on here. You can even turn this into a mini drag car if you want. Hackfab has everything that you need to make all that happen. And this is the kit that I got down here, the version two, which is gonna turn it into an actual late model car. So when it's all said and done, it's going to be looking like that. And it's going to have one of those fancy little late model bodies on it. Like this right here. They've got NASCAR truck ones, regular NASCAR. I've got this Batesville right here. So that's what it's going to look like. 
and we're just gonna turn left like i said all right so let's talk about the stuff that i have done to this car and things that i would and going to continue to do if i wouldn't tear it all apart now the only reason why i'm going to is because finding this brushless system right here is pretty hard right now that if you want to race and bash and just go fast which everybody does that's going to be one of your most important upgrades that is replacing the esc it's going to free up a lot of space it's going to allow you to use your own remote and receiver if you're wanting to use something like that if you have a spectrum or something like that you can bind to this as well you are going to have to use a separate spectrum receiver though um even with the stock one you actually cannot use a spectrum receiver i don't think so we also have the 800 milliamp battery in here and i replaced that with xt60 connectors for easy charging and also just a little bit better amp load of course i told you about the servo kit the servo kit up front i'm going to show you that in a little bit of a close-up there you can see how it is repositioned and mounted and how that 3d printed arm just goes right on there i originally was using the savix servo horns that it came with and the way that you, the ball cu cup and had to go in there the ball stud and actually ended up causing damage because it made the hole that you had to drill made the actual servo arm so fragile that it it broke on me like three times on one track day so this works i've been running this outside and it's just working real great so i'm also holding on to it by that bumper and i got this camo skin on the bottom because we got to have one for the racetrack it's all that's in stock right now is the camo one uh you can see that we put a new wing on it and just painted that We've got all the different carpet tires on here for racing. I think these are Schumacher mini fronts, I think, or maybe a pro line or something. And uh, I don't remember what these are. Just We got to have some kind of pin tires to go. If you look really closely in there, you'll also see some brass weights. Those are with the actual Eagle Aerials kit. And he's got holes actually pre-drilled that you can just drill right through the chassis to remount your servo forward and make it really simple and easy now i also changed out to the aluminum shocks so that really is the only pro mini b upgrade that i am running on here we changed out the front springs to something stiffer and we left the rears on there changed out the oil and everything i think i'm running like uh 60 weight all around and yeah it's been a fun little car and i hate to tear it apart but you know again we are tearing it apart and we've got all of this awesomeness right here starting with the hack fab chassis carbon fiber stuff we got shock limiters we're gonna be rebuilding that i never threw my new top shaft in so we're gonna do that We've got slipper eliminators coming. We've got extra gears running. We've got the mini eight gear conversion coming. So we're gonna be doing a lot for this oval conversion car. And you can do all this stuff to your mini B or mini T as well. Most of these upgrades are definitely what you see everybody doing on the Facebook group. And the things that you don't see people doing are the things that they put on the pro roller i know trigger some more people but that's just the way it goes anyway guys we're going to be building this thing here like tomorrow because i am on vacation and we'll probably have a couple videos up on it before we get out keeping an eye on the drag scene seeing what's going on things are kind of quiet over the holidays here we're just trucking along man waiting for it to warm up so we can get back out there and get racing or maybe we'll hit up one of those indoor spots and see what happens we will talk to you guys later Love y'all. Peace.